This is in some sense the million dollar question for Vault, right? What would be bad is if we centralize all of our secrets in a system like Vault and anything that can reach Vault or talk to it over the network could request anything it wants out of it. Instead, Vault requires anyone connecting to it, whether a human operator or an application, first log in and authenticate themselves against Vault so that Vault can establish the identity of either the operator or the application communicating with it. So they can distinguish, are you a web server? Are you a database? What level of permissions should you have? So this question, how does a client log in against Vault, becomes cr critical. And in practice, there's really two fundamental approaches of doing it. Right? The first one is what we call platform integration. The way platform integration works is I have, let's say, a web service that's running on top of Amazon. And that web service needs some way to connect and authenticate against Vault. And so the way we get this to work is it's a sort of a three-way trust relationship. Vault starts by trusting, being configured to trust the underlying platform, let's just say Amazon. The underlying platform then provides a credential to the, to the underlying VM. So in the case of Amazon, it might be providing an IAM token on launch uh, to the machine through a, a metadata URL. And then the web server provides that token to Vault and then Vault is able to complete the chain. It basically can use that token to call back against Amazon and verify the identity of the caller. And so in this way, we're building sort of a three-way trust loop. Vault trusts the platform. The platform launches and provides a credential to the, under, to the application. The application provides that credential to Vault, which can be verified against the platform, completing the loop. This sort of platform-based integration works with all of the major cloud providers, systems like Kubernetes and Nomad, where there's this sort of platform piece that's being threaded through to provide identity uh, to the underlying application. But what do we do when we don't have that? What if we're operating on a platform that doesn't thread through some form of identity, say bare metal or, for example, a VMware type environment where we're not getting something from the underlying platform? The alternate approach sort of can be categorized as what's called a trusted orchestrator. And the way that works is similar to when you onboard on a new company. The first day I show up for my job at HashiCorp, I don't have any login credentials, right? I'm not a member of HashiCorp yet, right? I'm just a, a random outsider. And so what usually happens is I get met by someone in HR. And that HR person says, OK, well, you have a job offer, and this is your name, and you're expected to be starting today, and your picture matches what you look like. Here's your initial login credential. And from there on, I can change my password and change my credential. But I was securely introduced to the company by someone in HR who already works for the company, right? And so in that sense, the HR person is a trusted agent of the company. And so the way this chart translates to Vault is you have a trusted orchestrator, which is acting like the HR person, right? And so this trusted orchestrator is already authenticated against Vault. And it's hitting something like VMware and saying, please provision me a VM. When that VM comes up, the orchestrator expects it. We just asked for a VM to be provisioned. And so it's kind of like checking against that job offer in a sense. And then the orchestrator connects an SSH is in or injects a credential that that new machine can use to authenticate against Vault, sort of like providing that initial credential. And then from there on forward, that credential that just got injected is used to talk to Vault. And now we've securely introduced this new thing uh, and provided a credential it can use to talk to Vault long term. So there's really these two fundamental models, which is, is there some ability to integrate with the underlying platform and expose some sensitive token or credential that we can thread through, and then Vault can establish a trust chain? Or do we leverage a trusted orchestrator like Terraform or a config management tool, which is already trusted and has a relationship with Vault, and is injecting a credential that we can then use to authenticate this application?